You don't know what it is to be free. Hallelujah. But if you can find, I'm the Lord, the King of Kings. I'm the Lord of the Lord. Set you free.
perception of the mind which makes known an external object that it doesn't cease. Glory to God. I want to, I want to say there's no law of internal perception. Now, uh, when I was thinking along that line in my meditation, my mind immediately went to uh, 1 Corinthians 10. Let me just share that with you. Glory to God. Uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and First Corinthians 13, excuse me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 13. And look at verse 8 through 10. That's what it is. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8 says, Charity never fails. Amen. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Amen. Where there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, mm -hmm. it shall vanish away. But when I got to this part, it opened my eyes. The scripture says, for we know in part mm -hmm. and we prophesy in part. Now look, pay close attention to verse 10. Okay. But when that which is perfect is come. Uh -huh. oh, you might want to underline that. <laughs> Say it can't tell you. But when that is perfect, mm -hmm. come. Uh -huh. Then that which is in part shall be done away. All right. I say, my God, my God. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I pray, God, we reveal it unto you that these things that are temporal, mm -hmm. these things that we can see, they will cease. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. But there's an internal perception that shall not cease. It doesn't die. It doesn't go away. One more time. Verse 10 says, but when that which is perfect is come, glory to God, when the Lord come for you, that's that time. I am a seeker. That which is perfect. When it comes, glory to God. The internal perception I'm talking about. Yes, yes. Let me say it like this. Again, according to the scripture, death involves no loss of immaterial consciousness. Can you say amen? amen. We're standing there. We're looking. They, they're going on somewhere. We don't know. But they see you. Mm -hmm. yes. I say, can't you. He come on, I can't tell Look at Revelation, our foundation of scripture again. Here, uh, Revelation 6 and 9 says, When he had opened the fifth seal, mm -hmm. I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God. Yeah. They were slain. For the word of God, but yet in the spirit realm, yes. he could see them. Yes. And they were souls. Yes. Was not dead. Mm -hmm. Listen, let's read on. And how listen, and I and I, and they cried with a loud voice. Mm -hmm. These souls cried with a loud voice. Mm -hmm. And what were they saying? How long, O oh Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them which dwell on the earth? You see, they were alive where God is. But there were yet people alive here on earth. And they were having a conversation with God, with the angels of God. Can you say amen? And the Bible says, and white robes were given unto them, to every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet a little while. That tells me that time has no effect on God. 
plan is made for us. He said a, a little while. This is 2021. Can you say amen? Glory be to God. But in God's sight, you have a little while. A thousand years for God is, is one day. And one day is a thousand years. I'm trying to get you to see that time was made for man and not for God. So you got to rest a little while, a little season, until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. God's word got to be fulfilled. Uh -huh. He has a plan and he's working it out. How many know that? The scripture reveals that there is a separation of the soul and body. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? Yeah. James 2 verse 26 says, for as the body without the spirit is dead. Uh -huh. The body without the spirit is dead. Yeah. The body without the spirit is dead. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? Yeah. Hallelujah. So faith without works is dead. Yeah. There come a time when our, our soul will leave this whole body. Yeah, this out of nature has a debt to pay. Now, the soul of the redeemed passes immediately yeah. into the presence of Christ. Is that all right? Yeah. Remember the scripture in uh, Luke 23 and 43. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Can you say amen? amen? He was these hanging on the cross. Uh -huh. One was making mockery. Uh -huh. But the other looked at Jesus and said, when you enter into your kingdom, have mercy on me. And the Lord said, today, I say, K -T, thou shalt be with me in paradise. I'm trying to let you see and to know that the internal perception Never die, nor cease to exist. Hallelujah. And the one of the malefactors, the Bible said, were, which were hanged, rail on him, saying, If thou be the Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Doth thou not? Fear God, mm -hmm. seeing that thou art in the same condemnation, Amen. and we indeed just, yeah. for we receive the due reward of our deeds. Uh -huh. People need to know and understand that going to come a time you're going to be you you're going to receive reward yeah. for what you're doing. In this body, on. on this earth, in this lifetime, whether it be good or evil. The Bible says, but this man hath done nothing amiss. And he said unto them, he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, today shall thou be with me in paradise. Hallelujah. If you're wondering what happened when your eyes closed in death and your, your tongue is glued to the roof of your mouth, where you go? Well, it's sure not purgatory. Hallelujah. I want you to know the Bible says you go immediately Amen. to where your home is. Amen. If you're going beyond the grave, yeah. you go and you stay there yeah. until the resurrection. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 And there, when you die, you go immediately yeah. into the presence of the Lord. But 2 Corinthians 5, 1 through 8 says, For we 
we know that if our earthly house yeah. of this tabernacle yeah. world is gone, yeah. we have a building of God yeah. in house not made with hands, yeah. eternal mm -hmm. in heaven. Yeah. For in this we grow this old house. We earnestly design to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. Hallelujah. Yes. And if so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked, for we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Now he that had wrought us for the self same thing is God who also have given us in earnest of the spirit. Therefore we are always confident knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk not by, by sight, we walk by faith and not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. The Bible says that the redeemed shall separate. Hallelujah. Such separation will continue unto the rapture. Hallelujah. How long will those souls be crying out on the altar? Hierarchy. First Thessalonians 4 and 13 declares, but I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others, which have no hope, those that don't believe in Christ, have no hope. Can you say amen? But those that believe in the Lord, you have hope. And for that cause, if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus, will God bring with him. He's coming back again. Whether you believe it or not, hallelujah. For this we say unto you by the word of God that we, which, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Hallelujah. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel. Hallelujah with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first then we, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord now this initial this is, hallelujah, this initiation, hallelujah, now this initiates the first resurrection, I say now this initiates the first resurrection, Revelation 20, verse 1 through 6, and I saw an angel come down from heaven having the keys of the bottomless pit 
and a great chain in his hand. And he laid on the dragon. And he laid hold on the dragon. That old serpent. Which is the devil. And Satan. And bound him. A thousand years. And cast him. Into the bottomless pit. And shut him up. Hallelujah. And set a seal. About him. That he should deceive the nation no more. Till the thousand years be fulfilled. And after that, the Bible declares he must be loose for a little season. I want to say to you, hold on.
Christ a thousand years, but the rest of the dead live not until a thousand years were finished. Hallelujah. Some that are sleeping in the grave will not hear that first trumpet sound. They're going to sleep right on. Like an old court time. But those that are sleeping in Christ shall rise up. Glory to God. Now understand when they did about long for those of us that believe we're going to be caught up together with God, with Christ in the air. And we're going to be with him for a thousand years. So yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. On the second resurrection, on the second, on such, on such, the second death had no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ. Hallelujah. Don't you see why you have to struggle now? God have ordained you as a priest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With Christ. Priest of God. With Christ. And you shall reign a thousand years with the Lord. Glory to God. This is when I was soul and body will be reunited to be glorified. I say forever. Hallelujah. With our Lord. First Corinthians 15, verse 35 says, But some men would say, How are the dead raised? How are the dead raised up? And with that body do they come? The scripture, it is written. Thou fool, that which thou sowest. Hallelujah. It's not quick, except it die. Hallelujah. Other words, it's out of nature. We're not going to heaven like it is. There's got to be a transformation. Hallelujah. Out of nature has a debt to pay. You got to go by the way. Of the grave, except the Lord come, Hallelujah, and He's still not going to take this old flesh with Him, for there'll be a separation of the soul and the body. Can you say Amen? Yeah. And that which thou sowest, thou sowest not that body that shall be, but that grain, Hallelujah. It may chance of wheat. Or of some other grain. But God give it in a body as it pleases him. Hallelujah. And to every seed, his, his body, his own body. And to every seed, his own body. All flesh is not the same flesh. According to the scripture, there is one kind of flesh of man, another flesh of beast, another flesh of fish, another flesh of birds. There are also celestial bodies and bodies celestial. Hallelujah. But the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of the terrestrial yeah. is another. There is one glory of the sun. I said, 
and another glory of the moon, another glory of the stars, for one star different for another. Hallelujah. Another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. Hallelujah. It is sown, glory to God, in this earth. It is raised in glory. Hallelujah. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. The Lord has let me know. We're going to continue. Glory to God. There's the Sekete. They're just too much. They get out of this one time. God, I say, can't take it. He come on like see us. And if it had to be a series, it had to be a series. Whatever whole court I see I thank God for being God. I thank God for being God. But in my closing, let me just close. Hallelujah. Oh, say, can't take I love the Lord. Eternal perception. My God, God is so good. Oh, my city to continue. But I want you to know, in the words of a song, I want to ask you a question. How many realize the master calling? The master's calling. Hallelujah. The song says, listen while you still can hear. The master is calling. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bow while your knees can still be. Why? The master is calling.
you get pray to say Lord Jesus I believe you died on the cross for my sins and rose again from the dead you redeemed me by your blood and I belong to you I want to live for you I confess all my sins known and unknown I'm sorry for them all would you say, I renounce them all. I forgive all others as I want you to forgive me. Forgive me now and cleanse me 
with your blood. Now begin to thank him. Say, I thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ that cleanses me now from all sin. I thank you for saving me and delivering me from my sin and my bad habits. God, replace them with your word. Replace them with your spirit. Cleanse me by your blood. Thank you, Lord. Come on, give God praise. Come on, magnify him now. Say, okay, okay. I will walk more time. Then begin to confess Jesus as your Lord. And tell several people what God has done for you. The Bible says, if you be ashamed of him, he'll be ashamed of you. Let somebody know that I'm saved. I pray your prayer. God, come into my heart and not begin to live for him. If you need a church, this is a good place. Come here. New Jerusalem Tabernacle, we receive you. New Jerusalem Tabernacle, I pray out for all people. I'm your Lord. And you will receive the word of God. Teaching the word of God. How to help you grow in the Lord. Amen. For those you've been saved, but the enemy has attacked your body. We believe in prayer. God has called us to believe the miraculous and ever more court time. And I believe God for you. Whatever's going on in your body, in your mind, in your life, that you need God to move. And you know the only one can do it. The only one can do it is God himself. Jesus said, if you come together touching and agreeing on any one thing, he said, I'll be in the midst. As a servant of God, I come now in your behalf. If you can just touch and agree with me, I believe God will give you your miracle. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Father, we come to you now as our deliverer. God, we come claiming your word. Joel 2.32 And it shall come to pass whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. God be called upon you now on behalf of those that in agreement with us. Touching and agreeing right now. God move with them in a special way. In such a way they have to they must confess that it had to be God. Seek us. God will go time. Unfold some things. Move some things. Turn some things around. In a sea, he called our time. God move by your power. Oh my my seek it and take it. God, we ask it in the name of Jesus. We ask it in the name of Jesus. Let me so. If you believe God, begin to praise him for the answer. Begin to praise him for the answer. If you believe God, hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise Him. Praise Him. Thank you, Jesus. Before we leave, I want to remind you that this is Pastor Jones saying to you. That if you meet me and you forget me or my name, you've lost nothing. But if you meet the Lord Jesus Christ and you forget him, you have lost everything. May God bless you until the next time. Glory. Can anybody tell somebody?